so we were missing some ambiance. I lit some candles. Oh my god, I just went today. Um, I'm drinking my matcha. Today is just gonna be a chill video. Cause today we're doing a full face of new skincare. And I got a bunch of shit in front of me. Mm. 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 Let's test it out, bitch. Let's go. Let's fucking go. What you waiting for? What you waiting for? As you can see, my skin in its full glory. Dang mm -hmm. shit on my face, bitch. I just worked like five days in a row and you can tell because I'm starting to break out on my chin from wearing these M95s, N95, what the fuck I said M for? Anyway, we're back to surgical mask at my job, hopefully soon, unless somebody else fucks it up again. Um, we're gonna start off with this Dr. Brandt Antioxidant Spray Toner. And what you got in you? Green tea and white extract. Protects against free radicals. See skin revitalize, improving skin barrier. I picked this up in a boxy pop up. So let's see if you could. Ooh, I like the mister on this one. <laughs> that one's got a fine mister. I'm just trying to smell. I don't know what I'm doing. That feels very refreshing. Very, very refreshing. Did you do anything to the skin though? That is the question. Hold up. Hold up, wait a minute. Let me put some in it. Thank God I closed my eye in time. I'm gonna fucking spray this shit on my eyeball. God damn, bitch. Ooh! You was breaking out everywhere. Kind of like COVID when the first saw me. <laughs> okay, I like that. And um, I have extremely sensitive skin, so if I use something, literally, as soon as I put it on my skin, my face will freak the fuck out if it doesn't like it. So we don't have any like issues currently going on, which is going to be awesome. Yes, we don't like that, we don't like that. Um, I wanted to try. I've never tried this for Sali serum. This is the for Sali quench moisture replenishing serum. I also, hello. Can you focus, camera? Do your fucking job. Huh? Okay. Yeah. So it's the quench serum. This is a hyaluronic acid serum with pro vitamin B5, and then this hyaluronic acid serum is kind of different from other ones because it has low and high molecular weight hyaluronic acid. So with any hyaluronic acid serum, you wanna make sure your skin is moist. So we're gonna go in with this Origins Original Skin Essence Lotion with Dual Ferment Complex. I picked this up in a Sephora sale. And Essence just helps all your, uh, your products melt naturally into the skin. Oh, she a little thick. She a little thick with three C's. This reminds me of the Glow Recipe Essence. I can smell the willow bark in this one. I wonder if this is gonna give my skin a do, like the Glow Recipe does. There's a slight juice. There's a slight juice. Let's do another spritz. Mm. So far, I'm liking these products. All right, now we're gonna go in with the Frisali. Hello, bitch. How you doing? The Frisali quench. I feel like shaking it. I don't know why. Do you shake your serums? Ooh. And to particular, particular. What the fuck am I saying? What is English? English. Just like all the Frisali products, it's got that dropper action. Jesus, this is just fire. I'm fire. She thick too. Usually hyaluronic acid serums are. 
it's like one of my pet peeves when people put things directly on their face just because of like contamination reasons I'm trying not to do that right now Oh, she's like syrup. Look how thick that is. I like to put a lot on the forehead because I be scrunching my face up at people. And I got a lot of lines on the forehead. <laughs> this is gonna plump and juice a skin. We forgot about the chin, bro. How can we forget about the chin? There we go. Mm. This feels not. It's not really sticky. It just feels like literally a layer of hydration and moisture and goodness. And ooh, like a drink of water for the face. If y'all have that boxy charm, I would get this in the pop up. This is nice. Especially if you don't have a hyaluronic serum already. I don't think we have an eye cream to try. I'm just gonna bring some of this up there. Okay, I don't know if y'all notice. What the fuck is that noise? Sound like an earthquake. It's probably the snow plow truck because it's fucking snowing in April. In Ohio. Why do I fucking live here? Why? Because rent is cheap and I can buy I can buy more makeup and shit. Um I don't know if y'all notice right here around the nose area. My skin is like bitch, what is, what is we doing? So I would probably I would still use this probably before makeup, but not on just a skincare kind of day, but it's not it's giving the skin a nice a nice glow, you see that? <laughs> I just look red as fuck around my nose, like I've been blowing my nose or doing other things. Oh, no. Anyway, I like that. It doesn't feel sticky when it dries down either. Ooh, girl, it's a winner. I mean, whatever I don't like, I'm gonna either give to my goddaughter or my boyfriend, and they just be lucking out because they get all the uh, all the good shit from me for free. <laughs> I'm the one paying for it. All right, bitch. Let's try this Tula Skincare Glow and Get It Cooling Brightening Eye Balm. I love Tula stuff because it has probiotics in it. And one of my favorite sunscreens is the Tula sunscreen that it just gives the skin such a pretty glow. Ooh, look how cute that is. I love their fucking packaging too. What's the claim? Sa, 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 sa. Help lack in moisture. This has caffeine in it to give the skin a tight and firm appearance. We kind of need that on the hair a little time. And apple and watermelon dehydrates the look and reduces of wrinkles. I know that's not what it says, but that's what my brain sees after a 12 hour shift and going to the gym. <laughs> Apply directly to eye area on the makeup. Okay, it's a brightening balm. Oh, the computer is water. I got this either in an Ipsy or a Boxy Pop Up. It's got like a bluish tint to it. Let's try it. So I'm just gonna apply it directly. Ooh, that's very cooling. It feels nice. It's got like a cold feel to it. I'm gonna do one eye and we'll see if, if this brightens any. I'm putting this right under my eye and on top, on like along the brow bone. You don't ever wanna put like any eye creams or anything like directly under like that cause then uh, once the product heats up, it's gonna get in your eye and it's gonna fucking burn. Oh, that's got like a, like a cooling sensation. Oh, I did put that too close to my eye. I feel it now. I feel like there's some brightening, guys. Okay. Close up. Close up. Closer. Do you see? Dice the eye will put it on. 
and then this is the eye without it. It's like a little bit of a hmm. little bit of glow, little glow. That's kind of nice. This kind of reminds me of um the the Tarte Glow Wands, which I like under my concealer. This comes with a sponge, but these um these fucking kids came over and were playing with my makeup and lost the sponge in the bottom part somewhere. All they do is come over to my house to roast me, eat my food, and play with my makeup. That's that's what they come over for. And then to ask me to buy them shit. Um, Cause they're like, you're a nurse. You work all the time, you have lots of money. I'm like, God damn, these kids be in my business man hard. Ooh, I might be using this uh, as part of my skincare routine to kind of brighten up the eyes a little bit. I look most tired. She a bop. She my little boo thing. I don't know. I had that pop smoke song stuck in my head. I'm fucking delirious. Like, I'm sore as shit. My back hurt. I just came from the gym. Just, just got a whole bunch of shit going on. Okay, next uh, thing here before we try the face mask. <laughs> um, there's this oil I've been meaning to try by Biosauce. This is the Squalene and Vitamin C oil. It's supposed to be super hydrating, anti-aging. I wanted to try it with my new toy. This is the Mount Lai Amethyst Gua Sha tool. They have other ones, like I think a rose quartz or whatever. Yeah, I bought into the hype on TikTok, bitch trying to sculpt her face out and drain all that lymph fluid. So um, I've been using this two days so far. Um, I'm gonna use that with that oil. Mm -hmm. Hopefully a bitch gets some sculpted cheekbones. Cause I ain't trying to get filler and shit. That shit migrate in your face. They say it doesn't, but it does. And like, I don't know if y'all know this, but most injectors that do Botox and uh, lip fillers and all that shit, they only need to do two days of training to touch your face. Yikes. Okay. We gonna oil. We gonna oil it up. Ooh, something peeling on the hair. Something peeling under here. What the fuck is that? Hmm. What did we try? I think it was the serum or the essence. Something is peeling up. Anyway. Ooh, this oil is really light for it being a face oil. Yeah. We're just gonna ignore the shit peeling up on my face. Uh, we're probably going to. Now, when you use this gua sha, you really want to lube up the face. So, I think the card I was just using is corrupted because it literally just died on us. So, yeah, I was just rambling on about unimportant shit. But uh, that little eye stick, this thing makes my under eyes feel like they're, they've chewed winter fresh gum or just smoked the Newport. Like, it's very mentally, very tangly. So the gua sha, if I remember correctly, I'm still learning. You start on the forehead and you just kind of, you're pushing everything up. And then we go to the brows. I kind of like use this part for the forehead. And then for the brows, I'll go to like this tip right here. And you're bringing it into the temple. This is essentially just draining all that lymph and then um, promoting circulation to the facial tissues. Ooh. So, same thing on the other side. Now, when you go under, like I said, always to the temple. When you go to the under eye, I'll use the same part, but like really light pressure. Cause you don't want to drag on that delicate skin. So I kind of do a flat 
and just push it up to the temple. I don't know if y'all can see whatever I put underneath this oil is like pilling. It looks like I have fucking dirt on my face. Ew. But same thing on the other side. This is supposed to help sculpt the face. Yes. Yes. See, I bought this gua sha from this brand because it's like a legit brand. Um, you can probably find these cheap at the store, but they're not real jade and stuff like that. Now you're gonna go and sculpt the cheeks. So you're gonna go like this up to the temples from like that corner of the mouth right here and up. Like I said, I'm not an expert. This is just what I've been doing. If y'all really uh, wanna know about this, I would say just do some research, look up somebody that's like a professional. I'm just going by the instructions and the little insert I got. <laughs> okay, and now when you get to the chin area, I don't know if you see like that, that edge. I turn it this way and you start at the chin and you bring it up to the ear like that some people do it this way like against I just do it like this because my draw is just fat as fuck and you bring it up to the ear same shit on the other side this is really fucking relaxing bro like I feel like I can't go to bed without doing this now. This is like a ritual. It feels so good. And then the last thing is you're going to go behind the ear with like this pointed part. And you're going to release that tension. And you're like, what tension? But when you start to just move it behind your ear, you're going to realize like you're really tense back there from clenching your jaw and shit, or at least I am. And then you can bring it down the neck to drain all that fluid you've been pushing up here this shit is fucking nice okay uh i got this because sephora had the sale so i got like 20 percent off but i would i would look into again you would wash my own crew. that's the only thing that i um in this video that's not new i really like this shit i really do it's a different feeling than those facial rollers okay well we all the fuck wait oiled up I do like this oil. It's not like a thick facial oil, but as you can see, whatever. Oh no, my mirror. Whatever I put under, it's like pilling. Like it looks like there's dirt on my face. So I'm gonna wash this shit off, and we're gonna try. We're gonna try the uh, fucking face mask. I think I got two or three of them. Be right back. Y'all, I'm honestly most excited for this fucking mask right here. This is the Magnetite Age of the Fire Skin Recharging Magnet Mask. It helps reduce the signs of aging. Skin looks energized and purifies skin. So this is that mask that you take off with the magnet. And it's by Dr. Brandt. This is fucking dope. I've seen people use this, but I'm like, mm -hmm, that's bullshit. I don't want to test it out today. Um, I got this in pop-up. I think it was around 20 something dollars. So it says leave on five to ten minutes. Wrap magnet with tissue glide over face to remove. Ooh, this packaging. Come at me. Come here. Oh, Coco's gonna think I'm calling her. Look at that. It's, and it comes with a little spatula to dig it out. <laughs> okay, am I supposed to tie it with this? What the fuck? Use the spatula, spread a thin layer over clean face, avoiding the eye area. Leave on five to ten minutes. So this is what it looks like. Yeah. Let's open it. Let's open it. You wanna open it? Let's open it. Got the little fancy, uh, it don't really smell like anything. It literally looks like fucking mud. Okay. Okay. Let's just scrape off whatever is on this lid. Cause I don't like wasting shit. So it says avoid eye area. I'm just trying to spread it. I don't think you're supposed to put this on too thick. So 
it smells like spotty you know what i mean like when you go to the spa and get a facial it kind of has that type of smell to it i mean dr brand shit is not cheap anyway Ooh, i'm so excited for this magnet part like you guys have no idea probably put some extra on that fucking pimple right there That's a weird application device, but I guess a brush wouldn't make sense because it would just stick on there, right? Okay, uh, that took fucking forever. I don't think this is meant to be like a quick <laughs> one, two, three mask. Ooh, that's fucking dope. Oh shit, the magnet's at the bottom. Well, I'm gonna let this shit sit on me for a second and when we come back, I'm going to take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Oh, God. The bitch got a little too relaxed. I was about to pass out on the couch. I've had this shit on my face for mad long. Like, I don't know how this isn't dry, if it's supposed to dry. We're going to take this shit off now. Ooh. So, here's the magnet. And I guess you're supposed to put paper around it. So I got this paper towel and we'll see what happens. Yo! What the fuck? You see that? That's crazy. Let me get close. I guess it is not supposed to dry. What the fuck? Yo, that's crazy. Like, look at it. Yo, my fucking mind is blown right now. Some freaky deaky shit, bro. What the fuck? Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. Look at look at how it's just sticking up on the paper saw. Like, what the fuck? If I move the magnet, I feel like I'm a little kid doing a science experiment. <laughs> what the fuck? It's like on the perimeter of the magnet so That's crazy. Look at that. Let's do another section. Okay, I'm done fucking around with this shit. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? This is insane. I wonder if this like actually does anything though. It's cool to fucking play with, I'll be honest with you. I don't think I've ever had this much fun taking off a face mask. <laughs> Yo, that's insane. I don't understand. This defies all the laws of physics. Like, what the fuck is going on here? Oh my god, that feels so weird on my nose. Like, I actually feel it pulling it off. Yo, like, I'm dead ass, still perplexed by that mask. Like, what kind of fucking sorcery? Like, am I breathing in metal shavings right now? Like, what the fuck? Yo, my skin is so fucking soft though, like... Ooh, look how glowy. That shit work. I look... I look like a glowy goddess! Okay. Ooh, bitch, it's getting late. I'm getting fucking tired. What else we got love here? We got... Ooh, bitch. Get in there. The fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Um, I need to clean that magnet off. That's fucking, I'm still fucking perplexed. Like, what the fuck? I, I don't understand. I don't understand how that works. Uh, we got this glam glow. This should look dirty because I dropped a bunch of powder in that boxy charm box. This is the glam glow berry glow probiotic recovery mask. I got this in the boxy pop-up. I believe this was $18. Full price is like 50 plus. 
I'm not sure if this smells like pomegranates or nail polish remover. Or both. Is that weird that I want to eat it? <laughs> okay. Probably not. I want to fucking eat everything because I'm a fat bitch. Okay, so texture. It's kind of like pudding. We're going to put some ones this skin. Now, what does this claim? Apply even layer to clean skin. Leave on 10 minutes. For best result, tissue off and smooth in any excess. If the side hair runs up hot dry, follow with your normal skincare regimen. Okay, so I guess we're going to do a thin layer of this shit, right? And we're just going to wipe her off. This feels really nice. This is very like moisturizing. It doesn't feel like it's really there on the skin. I don't know if I can get past the nail polish, pomegranate, nail polish remover, pomegranate, a uh, fragrance. Um, this feels really good. I feel like this would be a really nice mask for winter when it's really dry. Or if you've been out in the sun all day or it's hot as fuck, like I could put this in my skincare fringe. I'm really confused by this smell. Well, this is what it looks like up close. It's a decent sized tub. I mean, Glam Glow should. And we've dropped things. I was waiting for that to happen. Uh, fuck. <sighs> Glam Glow shit is pricey as fuck, but I think their shit works. People say that it's a waste of money. I don't agree with those claims. Anything I've tried from them is fantastic. Overpriced? Hell fucking yes. But that's why you wait till they have a sale, bitches. Okay, so we gonna let this sit for 10 minutes. We'll be back. Okay, boys. I sound like fucking Mickey Mouse on Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. <laughs> oh, toodles! Oh, toodles! Anyway, um, I got some fucking paper towel here. We just gonna take off the excess. Super, super soft, moisturized. Like, it's just, ooh, my skin feels like silk. Look at that. Do you see that glow? Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch, that's gone. That's nice. We like that. Final product. This is the Dr. Jar Every Day Sunday. No, every sun. Bitch. Every Sunday mineral sunscreen, UVA, UVB protection with SPF 50 plus. Now that don't sound like it's up my alley. You don't know me. You don't know me. I didn't even know Dr. Jar has sunscreen, bitch. Ooh, the packaging. Which smiles. This is a decent amount of product. I picked this up at TJ Maxx for $16.99. You know, I'm a bargain shopper, bitch. Ooh, it's so satisfying to open a new sunscreen. Y'all know I'm obsessed with the Shishido and the Tula. The Tula's more glowy, though. Okay. Oh, so excited. Let's see. What she look like? What she look like? That's a lot. Does it smell citrusy? I think it got like a citrusy smell. Um, normally that's usually how much I coat my face with anyway. I layer on the sunscreen. The main thing to prevent aging is sunscreen. If y'all didn't know, now you know. 90% of wrinkles come from the sun. Oh, this feels good. This doesn't feel like sunscreen. It feels more like a moisturizer. It doesn't have like that greasy, uh, that greasy feeling. Oh, this stars. I don't even know, like, to be honest with you, if this has a white cast because 
your bitch is the color of paper. But this feels very nice on the skin. It feels very moisturizing. This is definitely not your mother's sunscreen. Kind of gives the skin a little bit of a, a glib. Ooh. Ooh. We like her. Yes. We gonna add that to the rotation. Well, it's about to be like six o'clock in the morning. So it's gonna be my bedtime soon. And Koki's like had enough of my shit. She's like, bitch, you got home at three in the morning. I know you went to the gym. You smelled gross. You took a shower. We still ain't cuddle yet. I'm gonna go shit in the corner. So let me tend to the Taco Princess before I have a problem with my hands. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up to boost me into the YouTube algorithm so more people can find <laughs> this wholesome content. And leave a comment down below. Are you gonna be trying any of these products? Let your girl know and what you think about the stuff we tried today. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Get vaccinated, wear deodorant, and wash your ass, okay? Goodbye.